Hi, my name is Miss Malkin and I'm Head of History here at Bryant Lees High School. And I'd just like to spend a few minutes just to talk to you about the course that we offer, the A-level course we offer. So we do three modules as part of the course. So the first module that we do is the American Dream 1945 to 1980. This module is looking at America as it merges from World War II and it's looking at the struggles that it faces. So we will look at to what extent different groups of people, so for example African Americans, achieved the American dream within that period. We'll also look at cover ideas such as American identity, social equality, anti-communism, the Cold War, civil rights, as well as the states versus federal rights. So we are looking at um, we're looking at social, economic and political developments within that period. The second module that we offer is the Tudors. So um, the Tudors is looking at each of the Tudor monarchs in turn. So we look at the consolidation of power by Henry VII. So after he had usurped the throne, we look at the religious changes introduced by Henry VIII and the impact this had on society as well as the mid-Tudor crisis of Edward VI and Mary I, going on to the successes and failures of Elizabeth I. So both of those modules are ones in which you are worth 40% each, and at the end of the two-year period, um, you would do an exam which is worth two and a half hours for each one. So you will have two teachers, one for each of those modules, and those modules are taught parallel to each other. The third module you do is a coursework unit, so an NEA, non-examined assessment. So that is worth 20% of your overall grade. Now we do it on the British Empire, so the module itself it needs to cover 100 year history and so we teach the British Empire over 200 year period and then students you will choose their own question that they would like to, to answer with regard to that. So it's around 4,000 to 4,500 words. Um, and so that is worth 20%. So why do people choose history? Well, people choose history mainly because they love the subject, because they're really interested in it. They want to learn about the past and they find it fascinating and it helps them to understand the world around us and how events in the past have shaped events today. Another reason people choose to do history um, is because they recognise the transferable skills that it brings to the jobs market. So for example, communication is essential as well as the ability to analyse and evaluate. So for example, if you're going into a career like law, you would be required to analyse and evaluate evidence. And that's what history is made up of, analysing and evaluating evidence to construct your own ideas about the past. Careers that you can go into, for example, I've already mentioned law, but because of their transferable skills and it's very, it's, it's very broad, it means you can go into things like law, banking and finance, quite often it is banking and finance, journalism, the civil service, the voluntary sector, uh, teaching. So there is a lot of paths open to you if you choose to do history as an A-level. So um, I hope that's uh, kind of interested you in the course and I look forward to seeing you in September.